Right, so with Nanim Zahawi now being yesterday's news, you'd think we could move on from messes of his making now, wouldn't you? But no, yet another scandal has emerged. And not only is he implicated, so directly is Rishi Sunak. And it involves the Russians too. The unholy trifecta, if you will. I can't help but recall all those ridiculous moments So how he told us we shouldn't support something because it, it might help Putin. Putin might like it. Nurses pay rises. Nurses going on strike. What? No. Putin will enjoy that. Energy bill rises. Well, that's Putin's fault. Divided country is what Putin would want. So please get behind us stories. He's been ridiculed for weeks over it, all before his tax affairs blew up and dominated the news agenda instead. Now, Russian money, oligarch donors, we know the Tories have them. We know the Tories love them. And of course, that money buys them stuff like tennis with Boris Johnson or a peerage, perhaps. Who cares if he's the son of a former KGB agent? Let's make him a lord. If you think I'm joking about that last bit, by the way, Google Evgeny Lebedev. He also owns the Evening Standard. Anyway, party money needs to be administrated. Funds need to be raised. And so all political parties, like many other organisations, have treasurers. And the Tory senior treasurer is a billionaire, yes, yes again, it's one of them, called Mohammed Mansour. He's a former Egyptian transport minister who was appointed to the role just last month by both Sunak and Zahawi. The fact he's also a Tory donor can't possibly have had anything to do with being appointed to such a senior role, of course. He's only given the Tories a paltry £2 million, along with a further £600,000 from his firm Unitrack. And this is where the sleaze makes a return. Unitrack is a UK-based dealer of Caterpillar heavy machinery, a car dealership for diggers, if you will, that kind of thing. But it's also part of a larger parent company called the Mantrack Group, also owned by Mansour and his family via their Mansour Group conglomerate. Yeah, keeping up so far? Now, the Mantrack Group is an umbrella corporation with various different subsidiaries, like Unitrack, supplying Caterpillar machinery to an array of various different countries. Unitrack is the one based in the UK. Another of these subsidiaries is Mantrack Bostock, and they supply Caterpillar equipment for the oil and gas industry in Russia. Wasn't it Rishi Sunak himself back in March of last year, I think it was, when it emerged that his wife's family firm Infosys were trading in Russia? Not that he knew anything about that, of course. It's only his own household finances, and he was only the Chancellor of the Exchequer of the time, of course, that said... I am urging firms to think very carefully about their investments in Russia and how they may aid the Putin regime. Of course, it emerged by the October that Infosys was still trading in Russia and the appointment of Mansour as senior Tory party treasurer by Sunak himself, along with Nadim Zahawi as party chairman, then followed in December. So urging him to carefully think about his investments might have, what, cost you donations? Nadim Zahawi clearly wasn't worried about helping Putin or the Russian oil industry in this appointment, was he? The same Russia, the same Putin, which the Tories have blamed for rising gas and fuel prices here for much of the last year. It's not just Russia that Mantrak operate out of. They also operate out of Iraq and China, along with numerous African nations as well. Unitrack, the British subsidiary, has an export arm as well. And it exported Caterpillar equipment to the tune of some £17.7 million to Russia and Iraq in 2021. So, so much for thinking twice about dealing with Russia and so much for the Tories pretty much caring about it. Well, the Tories tried to look tough on this by slapping a sanction on heavy machinery being sold in Russia last July, but that was only to the mining industry. And so Mansour's business interests with their oil and gas industry was very much left untouched. As a Tory donor, was that deliberate, Rishi? Tory sleaze. It just never stops.